Anyway, so first thing, uh, R&D building, we are upgrading to 900 and, uh, to uh, 500 research limit and using 902k. So now we'll be able to collect surface samples, very important. Research trans resource transfer available and now I can unlock some more stuff. I want these engines. Now we can unlock about five on this tier. Just thinking about it. Well, the science should be first, right? I think we all agree science is most important. So what's our next science? The, the mobile processing lab? You can tell I'm not thrilled by that. Safety first. Well, what counts as safety? Uh, not miniaturization, precision engineering, advanced exploration. We don't have much... But with safety, these panels don't uh, retract anymore, right? Lab is free science, though. Well, not. it's not really what I want to be doing, though. But it does... Well, does it get us anywhere? What is this? Oh, these are scanners. Hmm. So these guys do retract. Well, if we're going safety first, then that's an important thing. And I'll unlock these. We'll get the science lab as well. And probably that mobility enhancer. Oh heck, let's just clean that out. Okay, well I want uh, I want the large reaction wheel. Seems like a good thing. Do I announce my stream somewhere? Yeah, in the title of the broadcast. So if you stop by the channel, you'll see in the title where it now says KSB 1.0 Hard Career Mode Continued, it'll say when I'm streaming next. Also, if I am streaming, technically it should go out to my Twitter. That's just Tyler Ray's on Twitter. I don't think anybody else has my name. I want the main sale. I'm gonna get them. Okay, guys, uh, here's... Main sail or tiny engines? I think the main sail will be better. Let me unlock plane parts. Go big or go home. Yes. Okay, main sail. And I'll unlock it now. Okay, let's see our contracts. Main sail on the plane. Yep. Twitch now extension. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, now it gives me... Hey guys, look. And now it gives me performed temperature scans of Gilly. So unfair. Return to Kerbin from Orbit of Eve. Also oh, unfair. Very unfair to give this to me now. This thing sucks. <laughs> okay, we've got this Duna 4 rally. Yeah, there's a lot of Kerbal rescues, but we just we did a Kerbal rescue uh, yesterday from uh, Duna. So I, I'm not in a hurry to do another Kerbal Rescue, and that was one that I actually had to do, right? Uh, yeah, they decided to give me this stuff too late. Left the probe there. <laughs> yeah, Raven, you suggested that. I know, I remember. Okay, so how about this? Uh, we'll, we'll do this Duna 4 rally. How about that? So it doesn't need to have any Kerbal in. just needs to fly by Minmus, fly by Ike Duna, and the moon. Doesn't seem like it needs to be in that order. Okay. Okay, so around the moon, we don't have a Science Junior. We've got all the goo containers. We haven't done any uh, barometer scan in, in space. So that's something we can do. Barometer scan in space. Uh, we can't do any temperature scans and we can't do any... So barometer scan in space is something we can pick up. And the Science Junior. Um, temperature scan, we've done everything around Minmus. But we can do the barometer around Minmus. And we can do the Science... Well, we can't do the Science Junior then. Maybe we need more than one Science Junior. Let's try and uh, cook up a mission that will send more than one Science Junior to these places. Uh, if we go to Duna... Uh, 
four science juniors. Maybe eight for high and near. <laughs> that might be too ambitious. Do we have a... We don't have the little coupler. If we had the quad coupler, I might think about it. If we had the quad coupler. But we don't have it. So I, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, it's going to cost a bit to uh, send it out. But we've got the main sale. We've got the main sale. And this contract pays a lot. I don't know if you saw. This contract pays... Uh, the advance was 130000 The total payment was 700000 What can we do to make this look sane? Send a scientist with it to reset it? That's just gonna... That's just gonna add mass. We'd have to send some sort of pod or something. Lots of XP. Um, not, not really. I don't think... I don't know. Not as much as landing somewhere. We're not gonna land this, right? So we're not gonna get too much XP like that. Yeah, we're gonna go to 2.5 meter. I just want this stage to be... good. This is gonna be our our main mission stage. I I think I've got an idea. We've got we've got a few lines now. We're gonna do the thing I often do. Yeah. Well, this will be blocked by these for part of it, but I think it'll be all right. We've got backup ones on top there. Now let me see how much Delta V it is. Oh, uh, we've got a small reaction wheel up there. I guess that'll be alright for this part. This is 3,300 Delta V. And nearly a thrust weight ratio of 1. That sounds like enough Delta V. Yep, yep, I think so. Uh, we're talking about Moon Mimus, and then we head over to Duna Ike. Yeah, that's enough. Toggling panels with the light makes sense. Does this work? So we're at 7 tons. And we have the Poodle? We have the Poodle. Okay, and the Poodle's max is 25 tons. Turn the lights to green. Okay. Could really do a fairing. Do you know how much mass the fairing would add? Actually, that, that'd be a good thing to look at. Yeah, fairings are made of solid lead. Let's see. Let's see how much mass the fairing would add. Uh, do we even have fairings? Yes. Airstream protect protective shell. First of all, we don't have a fairing that actually fits with our form factor here. Uh, but let's say we went with this one and we'll open it up. Okay. So right now the mass is 6.4 tons. Now this is a uh, wide fairing, I'll admit. 2.1 tons. Now let's go with the narrowest fairing I could do. Okay, so that fairing is possible. That's still, uh, what is it, 1.8 tons? 1.8 tons. So yeah. It's not worthwhile. The drag is not going to be that bad on this to make up for the mass of the fairing. Okay, I'll just use 350 for this one. It's high enough in the atmosphere. 2,670. I don't think we need to go all the way to the mainsail for this. But the skipper can't lift all of this on, all on its own. It's going to need a booster. Okay, let me just double check these numbers now. The bigger the rockets are, the more calculations I have to do to make sure I've got it right. You can't just eyeball it anymore. At least I can't. That's better than the Ike 4 rally you got. I need Moon, Gilly, Ike, and Jewel. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Um... Haven't been out to Jewel in this yet. What is our ISP here? 280. Okay, we've got enough Delta V. Now I'm going to do the thing where which I have uh, resisted all this time. Uh, okay, which which winglet is best? Uh, I, I have resisted putting winglet, winglets on these things, but I'm tired of flipping over. 
So, now we do have a heavy reaction wheel here, but are these the best ones, or what should I add? While you're telling me that, I'm going to add boosters. Daz Valdez is hosting me for 33 viewers. That's amazing. I didn't even realize I had come to the attention of Daz Valdez. Das, das Valdez. I always pronounce his name wrong. Now he's hosting me. It's horrible. Any winglet will work. The heavier you ship, the bigger the winglet should be. You like the delta wings. Yeah, I, kn I know the bigger the better, but uh, I, I'm wondering whether, uh, in particular, I'm wondering whether these kinds of things are better or the ones that are all moving. This is pretty cheap for uh, this kind of mission with uh, that much cash involved. Our reward is going to be pretty high. We're not bringing this back. So I don't need the parachute. Though that could be amusing. That could be very amusing. Okay, we'll leave it an option to uh, potentially bring this back. I'm gonna leave that as an optional positive, okay? So we're going to, for those just joining us, we're going to Duna, Ike. We've got this contract, fly by Minmus, fly by Ike, fly by Duna, fly by the moon. And I've done a lot of science around them already, but we haven't done any science juniors, so I'm just gonna do one science junior on each. And I'm launching something like this. And now I'm gonna fix the staging. Bring it back without a heat shield. Yeah, I, I was thinking that'd be amusing. Yeah. Landed on the last planet or moon? That... I mean, it'd be Duna, right? Probably we'd landed on Duna if we weren't bringing it back. No, uh... Oh, Kerbal Engineer Redux is uh, stock. I, I play modded stuff too, Gene, but uh, I'm doing stock right now. Okay, that looks like the proper way to go. Alright. Duna Rally it is. Let's take... Oh, let's uh, check phase angle. We don't need to get exact on the phase angle, but let's get at least close. Since we're trying to transfer to Duna and Ike after Moon and Minmus. How long is the contract good for? Long enough. Oh, I, I think it was actually 101 years. I think it was 101 years. I'll go back and check, but uh, yeah, it's a long time. Okay, here we go. Finally coming up on 40... Five degrees here. I yes, I have a protractor. I am holding up to the screen, and yeah, that's it. All right, here we go. We don't need all of the skipper right now. Okay, will I have better control than I've had in previous launches recently? Let's find out. Okay, throttle up. Well, it's looking good so far. Control is feeling okay. Using an external cam from Rasterprop Mater. Oh yeah, those are cool. Okay, hearing explosions and my TWR is not good right now. This is not good. Uh, my TWR was not high enough for this rocket. Can't imagine building without RCS build aid anymore. I only use that very briefly. Respawning clamps. I have not seen that. It's a rare bug. Okay. Yeah, I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it. Clamps bug is gone for you now after the FASA update. That's interesting. Well, FASA does uh, have its own launch clamp setup, so. Not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready for a SEP here. Separation and poodle ignition. Okay, looking good. New launcher, so... Gotta work out the exact trajectory for it. 
Clearly this was too shallow. Always rage when you build planes endless testing until RCS build aid. Huh, interesting. RCS hasn't been a big thing for me with airplanes. And actually, just for your amusement, I should do some some uh, plane building on stream. We've unlocked some of the parts, and I think that will give you guys some serious entertainment. There's nothing quite like the frustration of building a plane on stream, right? Yep, lots of testing, lots of issues. Should be good. Always make sure to lift is behind mass, but always crash. Well, you have to also... Actually, uh, it's oversimplifying. You have to make sure that the lift stays behind the mass as long as you are uh, flying, right? Because you're going to be burning fuel and it's going to change on you. So you can't just say, okay, it's behind the mass right at the start. You have to make sure it stays that way. Okay, so first target is the moon. Yeah, the new, the new landing gear is essential for building good airplanes. With the old one, I never wanted to build uh, stock airplanes because the landing gear was just no good. I don't think we we're at a good timing for hitting both the moon and Minmus. But we could probably... Well, anyway, it's good to boost out anyway. We'll boost to uh, Mimus-like orbit, and then we can do some further corrections to make sure it works out. This will do fine. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this. Okay, so, if I hit lights right now, will it extend my solar panels as well? Yes, it will. Oh no! It's only extending one of them! Ah, that's not right. It's a bit easier now, you can empty the fuselage and put all the fuel in the wings. Uh, on some of the wings, right? Or are you using a mod? Only some of the wings work uh, for that. Okay, just on time with the poodle. Let's discard the... well, our poodle is unfortunately going to be hanging out for a while, but let's discard it. And... We are now on the final stage, which has 3,000 meters per second of delta-v. There we go. And that has our slingshot. Alright, and if we target Minmus, what happens? Okay, so we can correct... We can correct. Our position... We can boost out a little bit more to fix it up. Okay, that's all I wanted. Okay, so far I only have the basic jet engine, that's correct, and that's a consideration. We can't go above 13 kilometers, probably, probably that's about right. Um, the Mach effect uh, makes supersonic planes really satisfying. Yeah, uh, that feels a lot more like breaking Mach now than it used to. Um, I've flown in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and in Microsoft Flight Simulator I've taken the Concorde up, and it's it's it, it lingers around trying to break Mach for a little while. You get to about thirty thousand feet, and uh, it takes a little bit of effort to break Mach sometimes. Okay, here we go. So, uh, does it recognize? Yes, fly by the moon. It's recognized. And we'll do our first. After I reduce time warp, we will do our first materials bay. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to transmit it. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring this back. We'll try it out, but I'll transmit it for now. Once did plane that was powered only with xenon gas. Slow as slug, but it worked. Wow. Yeah, I've heard of some of those. Okay, on to uh, Minmus. Let's see what I need to do to tweak my orbit so that I can hit Minmus. I don't think I can do it from here. Trying to use the moon like this is probably a bit too touchy. Yeah, let's get out into uh, Kerbin space, and then we can do it. Oh 
Okay, well, that gets us an encounter. That's all we need. I don't like how it's gonna shoot us out. Well, that's a moon encounter. Okay, maybe that'll work out for us. Let's hang on to that. Uh, this doesn't look like what I wanted it to do. Hold on. Okay, no, that's right. Alright, that'll be good. Alright. So, we got that part? Yes, fly by Minmus. Good. Second, uh, Science Junior. Okay, transmit data. Yeah, lying planes is more of a field than something that can be explained. Yep, yep, yep. Practice too, of course. Lots and lots of practice. Saying it suddenly clicks doesn't really help the people who have trouble with it. That's the that's the tricky part. But uh, yeah, I think rendezvous is a straightforward thing to explain. That that at least I can help people with. And if we wanted to go over that, I could. So anyway, we're transferring over to Duna now. And the question is, I really need to up my patch conics. Um, Okay, let me get out of Minmus' sphere of influence, because I don't think I can see what's going to go on after that. We're, we've got a flyby of the moon over there. Hey, you guys have been talking. You haven't reminded me to do some of the other science, have you? We've got other science here. Oh, I, I've got YouTube vids about uh, Rendezvous. That I have. Uh, if you check out my beta tutorial series, I go over... I do a Rendezvous with uh, Stranded Kerbal in orbit without maneuver nodes. I've done more than one rendezvous video on YouTube. If you check out my YouTube videos right under the video. Okay. Have we done barometer high over Kerbin? Yeah, we have. Alright. Now let's see. Is that a good orbit to go out? Not really. I don't like this approach to the moon. That's practically the reverse of where we want to go. Come on. There we go. Alright. The art of manipulating maneuver nodes. That's a tough one too. Okay, what's going on? Wonder if it's possible to build a walking robot with infernal robotics. I thought about that. Uh, I want to make a like a Gundam sort of mech warrior so bad, um, but I don't have the time. Oh, uh, Ron Ronan. Uh, okay, uh, Am Ron. I have never heard of that person. Wow. Saw so someone doing a rocking robot on in KSP several times, but no idea how they managed it. Okay, so that's been done. Okay, well, we are on a Duna trajectory. I'm just wondering whether I should fix our approach here or whether I should wait until a mid-course fix. I let's let's go to the descending node here and then see what I can do. Let's exit uh, Kerbin Sphere of Influence. Okay, that'll be close enough. Was just doing a flyby Minmus for early career science. Got a free return. Oh, nice. Hey, this career is much more relaxed than your career. You have 12, 20 pro missions going on at the same time. That is ambitious. I, I like to focus on things, because I tend to forget things otherwise. Oh, Kerbal Alarm Clock makes it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kerbal Alarm Clock. Definitely. Ah, uh, it's not giving me the exact encounter I wanted. Okay, let me see if I can tweak it a little bit. Just Well, actually, just rotating causes all sorts of fuss with it, but let's see. Okay, that's worse. 
Okay, I think I can take that. It's, we're probably crashing into it. Okay, let's head over there. Oh, actually, let me uh, open up that YouTube link so I can watch it later. I'll pause it in another window. No, I, I want to reserve the Science Junior... Oh, wow, okay, I guess we can do the barometer and thermometer. Okay, the music is a little bit... Uh, a little bit too serious for this. We're, we're just on a casual journey here. Uh, we are not going around the right direction, are we? Shoot on a 90 degree line? Yeah, I, I, after I figured out that I couldn't do the maneuver node, I, I'm doing that. Yeah. Pretty much moving directly at- well, yes. I, that's what the mid-course adjustment ended up doing. I, I deliberately did that. Oh, there we go. And this is what I wanted. Maybe... But... Okay, it should be possible to transfer to Ike after I air break thanks to this. I think that's correct. So, uh, periapsis 24 kilometers is what I want. Okay, here we go. Just getting closer so I can fine-tune things. Oh, you guys, I should have done some science now. Hi, Overduna. Transmit. Oh, you know what would be good? If we could get this into orbit around Kerbin again and then sign a, send a scientist up. If we could send a scientist up, we could reset it. If we could get back to Kerbin. Okay, so could reset, but then you have to send it out to Duna or something like that. Uh, Jewel. Jewel. We would send it to Jewel. Remember, 3,300 Delta V. Uh, it will be empty after restoring of scientists, correct. Uh, you would need to refuel it again, correct. It has no docking port, so that's not possible. Incorrect. You can do it with a, do uh, with a clamp. Uh, claw. The claw. You can do it with the claw. Uh... One reason you often put a docking port on your vessels is, is that you might need it again. It would have been a good idea. I didn't think of it at the time. Remember atmospheric science. I know, but uh, we might not have the electric charge to do that. We'll see. Okay, um, let me see if I can fine tune this. 23,000 is a little bit too close. We want it a little bit higher. You consider the claw cheating? Come on. You can't get away with anything if you consider the claw cheating. Anyway, it's buggy as anything can be, so it's like you are always taking a risk when you use it, right? This is still testing. I've used 24 kilometers as my air breaking point, but there's no guarantee that that's the right number for uh, hitting Ike afterwards. The goal here is to hit Ike after air braking at Duna, and so that means I want to keep my apoapsis pretty high. Okay, so double check, we've got all our panel re tucked away. We've got the lights off so that we're not using any surplus electric charge. I'm going to log pressure data. Ah, we've already done that here. Actually, I think we might have done it inside the atmosphere as well because of our landing on Duna. You use the claw for asteroids. Well, yeah. But asteroids is just a form of fuel, right, now? Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, hold on. We need, uh, we need better music for this. This is too light for uh, arrow breaking. Okay, traditional arrow breaking music. Q. Okay, here we go. This is periapsis. Come on. Use the claw to move Duna to the orbit of Kerbin. 
Well, actually, I'm sure Scott Malley could give you the calculations for how much fuel and what engines you would need to do that. That definitely sounds like a Scott Malley project there. I don't think this was low enough to bring us into orbit around Duna. I guess 24 is where I have to be, but I'll give it some more time. Even if you could uh, claw and if you could move Duna, do you have an idea how... Yeah. Well, actually we do have an idea how heavy Duna is. Uh, well, it's on the wiki. So, we could do the calculations. <laughs> it's just a matter of math, right? And putting enough boosters together to move Duna. <laughs> Scott did that for Gilly, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you can't move them. But it'll be good to prevent bounce off from Gilly, yeah. I know, that was your original thought. Yep. Okay, it looks like my estimations were correct that this was a good way to go for a Nike encounter. But I still want to make orbit around Duna. I don't want to escape because we want to potentially transfer this back. And I don't want this fooling around in interplanetary space. Uh, no, I think Gilly is not smaller than a Class E asteroid. I'll have to check though. I'm not, I don't think it is smaller. And it does have gravity, so it's on rails and it's not uh, not like an asteroid. Come on, I don't slingshot me out. There we go. Okay, it looks like we can get our Ike flyby and then remain in orbit around Duna. And that's all we need to do now. Okay, here we go. Okay, last Science Junior. High radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. Looks like it'd be fun to paint rockets with them. We get a lot of that one. Yeah, low over Ike science. I guess I guess we should. All right. The problem is it wants to shoot me out, but I guess we have to. No, let's just uh, get into orbit. Let's see if that works better. Well, it's about the same. Okay, we will make orbit around Ike. Okay, so we've got uh, potential orbit around Ike there. We don't have any more science juniors, but we do have the thermometer and barometer. I think we must have done the thermometer reading around Ike already, but we'll see. You have enough Delta V to land and head back to Kerbin. I'm not sure about that. Maybe. You know, actually looking at it, probably. But why? Why would I do that to this poor probe? What has it ever done to us? <laughs> anyway, um, haven't we done already a probe on Ike or not? Let me pop back out. Yeah, we've got a Ike lander probe there already. We've done that already. So there's really no point. Oh, well, yeah, I have no lander legs, but that's... That's not... It's not necessarily a problem. Well, it is, actually. We don't have a big enough reaction wheel. If we had a bigger reaction wheel, we could do it. But not with this. There's just enough mass high to make it very difficult. It's a challenge, this is true. Ah, yeah, Raven Knight had a good point there with the keeping it for possible contracts. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I think I might keep it in orbit around Ike after we do the low over. We don't really need to transfer it to Duna yet. Let's see if we're low over yet. Flash, uh... I, I was okay. We've already done pressure scan near Ike. There we go. 
Oh, we've already done these near Ike, so we're done. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Let's calm the music down a little bit. Uh, how about this one? And back to Space Center. Um, we've got a lot of funds now. Do we need to upgrade anything? Uh, we don't need uh, that many contracts. Planes, we could probably use more parts on, but we'll hold off on that. I think we're okay. Okay, let me let me just pause the music. This isn't working for me. Okay, so I think I think that does it. We have a we had a successful mission uh, bringing back. Well, not uh, bring, not bringing back. Uh, we had the little gilly probe. Uh, we landed it on Eve, and so that worked well. It's approaching three hours now. So yeah, a pretty decent stream I think. I'm trying to extend my duration as I go along. Remember I just started a streaming with uh, just before 1.0 came out. So yep, what the... Landed at launch pad. I don't think so. What is it? Okay, we've got some something out there. Anyway, so uh, and we did the Duna Rally, which was an interesting little mission. Not very hard, but uh, we've got that mission there. We've got that mission landed on EVE. So I'm pretty satisfied with how today went. And my only question is, what the heck is this? Landed at launch pad. Recover. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway. The clamps, yeah, the clamps decide to float away into the middle of nowhere. Yep, I think so. Alright, uh, runway upgrade level 2 is nice and cheap. Yeah, I'll think about that. Uh, oh, okay, let's just get it. And I don't like the bumpy runway anyway. Yep, let's get the runway upgrade. Okay, yeah. So that's how we'll do it. Uh, and it was the launch clamps, so I'll say this is it for me and next time I'll stream will probably be Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time which is 11 p.m. GMT and I'll be continuing career mode then alright so uh, with that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the stream and I'll be signing off see you next time